Now that we've practiced how to determine the number of payments, we can look at questions such as the following. Andrew would like to have 100,000 Rand in five years. The bank offers him an investment of 10% per annum compounded monthly. Andrew begins his payments immediately. So, and then the question says, determine how much money Andrew will have to pay each month. So the key things to look out for are the following. Is it a present value or future value? Well, that 100,000 Rand, he only wants it in five years time. So that's future value. Then to look out for is what the next thing to look out for is the compounding. It says it's compounding monthly. And then you've got to try to see if the number of payments are going to change from the base number. For example, this is a five year account compounded monthly. So your base, so your normal number of payments would just be five times 12, which is 60. So we should always write that down and then see if that's going to change at all. Well, Andrew begins his payments immediately. When should he have started? Well, because it's a monthly investment, he should have he, he, he should have only started after one month, but he starts immediately. So that means he's going to pay one extra payment. So he'll do 61 payments. And how do we know if he ends early or not? Well, if the question doesn't mention anything about when he ends, then you can assume that he ends at the correct time, which is right at the end of his investment. So there we have everything we need. So we can use the future value formula where the 100,000 Rand is the future value. So that'll be 100,000 Rand equals X is his monthly payment. We don't know what that is. The interest is 10%, so that's 0 0.1 compounded monthly. And over here, we're gonna have 61 payments. Then we're gonna have minus one, over 0 0.1 over 12. Then you can just go ahead and calculate everything. So the best way to do it is to first multiply the 0 0.1 over 12 to the left hand side. And so we end up with that over there. Then the next best thing to do would be to take this whole term and divide it on the left hand side. So you'll end up with the following. And if you go type all of that in on the calculator, your final answer should be 1,264 Rand and 50 cents. So that is the amount that Andrew will physically pay each month. So here's the last question for this video. We have a person called Jane who would like to have 100,000 Rand in five years time. The bank offers her an investment of 12% per annum compounded semi-annually. Jane starts paying after 12 months. Question is, determine Jane's regular payment. So we need to look for a few keywords or key features. So the 100,000 Rand is that, well, does Jane want that money now or in five years? Well, it's in five years, so that's the future. And then the compounding is semi-annually. So I'm just gonna say SA, and then she starts paying after 12 months. So first things first, we're just gonna use the future value formula, where the future value is gonna be 100,000 Rand. X is the regular payment, so we're not gonna, we don't know what that is. The interest rate is 12%, so that's 0 0.12. Semi-annually, semi-annually, now people sometimes put a six at the bottom or sometimes they put a two. Semi-annually means that you are gonna pay every six months, but how many times is that in a year? It means you're gonna pay twice in a year, so you're gonna compound twice in a year. Now, what are we gonna put as our N value? So, in the previous videos, we looked at those tables, and for semi-annually, you are supposed to pay every six months, and you should always start after the first six months. So you should make your first payment after six months, then after 12 months, then 18 months, and then 24 months, and so on and so forth. Jane only starts it after 12 months. So she misses this payment over here, and so she missed one payment. In five years, if you are compounding semi-annually, you should make a total of 10 payments. Jane missed one of those, so she will only make nine payments. So we'll put a nine over there, and then 0 0.12 over two. Now we can just go solve this like we did with the previous question on Andrew. And your final answer for X should be 8,702 Rand and 22 cents.